Yes, my name is Daniel Osego. So that is what the name I was born with. Daniel Osego. So, but um, people know me as McDaniels. Uh, the McDaniels. A lot of people ask me everywhere I go. A lot of people ask me, how did I come to the name McDaniels? Why am I called McDaniels? Um, I was a very young boy. Let's say when I was, I'm still young. <laughs> but let me say when I was around. Um, Around the age of 13, 12, 13, I, uh, or 13, 14, I think Facebook came in uh, on by that time. And then um, one of my friends told me, you know, because of the way I sing and I mean, how nice it is, and um, McDaniel sounds so good. You know, in Ghana, they give a lot of names. That time I was in Ghana, so I had a lot of nicknames. Um, a lot of people knew me with different names. Came from, see, what, uh, a lot of names. But McDaniel was one part of one name. I loved it and I was like, okay, I will take this name. So I used it as my, my Facebook. You know, some people are called uh, Breezy, whatever. So, you know, I just put it as McDaniels and I added my normal setting, McDaniels or Sable. So um, it got to a time when I got more serious about my uh, my music. I got more serious about God. I wanted to move forward. I mean, just not to sing, uh, uh, just as a, as a boy who can sing, but just to, um, to have that name that this is a gospel. When you are looking for music, you can maybe look for, or um, you can mention a name that is Daniel Osimbo. So you cannot just um, use any any other name to just call anybody like just like that. Like when I when I'm inviting to mention to the program, I cannot just say um, Radio or something. So I have to mention the name, you know. So I I wanted to change the name and then use Daniel as the real name, like just my name. So. I will be famous with my own name. But I got to a time before I changed the name of I wanted to find the name of my parents. And I went to the internet and I made the research. So um, I got to a time that I, um, the research, the name of my parents simply means somebody who sex, who use that atmosphere, that music atmosphere to go to a high level or to, uh, to become very famous. That when the person enters, you know, there are, there's everybody who is called that and everybody is called that. That person, that particular person, and this is like McDaniels and stuff. It's like everybody has it in mind. McDaniels is different from just saying Daniel, you know, because everybody else can call Daniel, but that name, and I, I, I love the meaning, so I chose uh, that name to be my um, my artist name. And then um, I have been, I mean, since I chose the name, I was nowhere, but I can see that the name has had, uh, has had a lot of impact in my life. So now, and so. People ask me why, why do you choose the name, and I think that is the answer. So I, I found, I made a research, I found the meaning of the name, and I prayed about it, and it's making a lot of things in my life, and it's having an impact, and I'm moving by God's grace. So I think the millennials those things. <laughs> so yeah, that is me. I'm just um, a young boy, a young um, artist, an upcoming gospel artist who is in Germany, and um, I'm making it here. Making we go to programs, concerts, and um, most of us programs and all that and we are trying our best to do the work of God here. So I'm just when somebody asks me to make any I'm just a young upcoming gospel. Can you come and sing a moment? The 
person got sued for me, bought shoes, and my grandfather said, no, it's not coming. <laughs> because my grandfather was so strict, he was a pastor as well. So he had to, I, would, I followed him every time he goes to church, and I come with but I do everything for my grandfather. So the time he would come, he would so rest in peace, he's not even anymore. But um, every time he said something, sometimes when I was young, it, it was like he's restricting me from doing what I want to do, you know. But um, it helped me a lot. And, those who were all the kind of parts that like brought me more to music, you know, he wanted me to take that part serious, you know, not just like somebody just, just, just calling me, you just go, you just go there, you don't know what will happen to me, so he took a lot of care of me, but he supported me in a way, he made me do it as well. I mean, I love music, you see me playing instruments, you see me doing that, he supported me. And that was, uh, let me see, how I came to music, so. When I was around um, 14 years, that was when he left me to do things more. So in the church, like I was 14 years, I was a part of that in the church. They picked me up from the um, from home because um, I was not allowed to go out in the park. They picked me up from home, sent me to the church, teach them, bring me back home. So my girlfriend was up there. This one, I know the first. So um, I was not too free to go out too much, but in Ghana, that time I. I became a colleague as well around 14, 15 years in the army in the SHS and JHS. So um, I learned a lot inside, I learned a lot. So um, that was when I had the interest, I wanted to move far. I wanted to move far in music and I started taking it more serious. So that was, let me say, more how I really came into music. Some people who know my mom, and as for my grandmother, I not know my grandmother because he, uh, she sings, but she's kind of a Pentecostal, you know, Pentecostal, old lady, she can sing. And, but my mom is a PSA one music, and who sang, uh, so um, I think people are very cool, and she has a whole lot of singing. You know, um, my mom is, let me say, somebody I really looked up to because I had a lot of inspiration. Let me, let me put it this way, I was in Ghana, I was a little boy, I was brought up from my grandparents, but my mom never actually lived with me. She used to live here in Germany and I was in Ghana since I was a little boy, since I was eight months. I was brought up just by my grandparents. Yeah, so it's uh, when I talk about it, it's a whole lot of uh, long story, you know. And she became a long kid, um, just one mother, you know. So it became very hard for her, but she tried hard. And by the way, um, she got married again, she went to Germany. That time I was eight months, I had to be in Ghana. My grandparents brought me up. So every time I was in Ghana, I saw my mom like uh, a star that I want to. But I did not see my mom like every time, like mom, you guys, you know. So it was just like, oh, this is, you know, this is. So every time she even comes back to Ghana to pray a visit, I feel like, oh my God, that's mom, you know. And she was that famous, you know, and all that. So I was, she she became one of my role models. I mean, the very one I met and got from her. Because um, actually, I was more of like, I want to do studio songs on computer, at least my mom, you know. When I listened to my mom, she was singing without using any effects, you know, and all those kinds of like, how can you do this? You know, I never believed it until when she visited, she paid me a visit uh, one time in Ghana when I was a little bit older. And I was like, we were we are singing like happy birthday to somebody. Look at how she's singing. It's just like on the CD, you know. And that's when I started um, to follow those kind of um, that way. I love gospel. I want to focus on that part. And so yeah. This is, that is my mother, so I have related to the, some musicians as well, some old musicians and new musicians who are a little bit, uh, who are also famous in Ghana. Um, I have related to them as well. So my mom is a guest of this, so I think. <laughs>
So I think uh, this makes sense. <laughs> I know, I know him, I know him, I know him, I know him, he's a loser. We used it on Praise Alive, and I was just thinking with Superstar Mike and Daniels, and I'm coming to show you my job with him, and you talked about him now, so what about your job? Ah, this is, this is a hard, a hard lot to cry, but if you want to know, I will just go, <laughs> My dad is a musician as well. He's also uh, known in Ghana. He's also known in Ghana. Let me say, I always see my mom and dad as one of, I mean, uh, as the, one of the legends in Ghana that I can look up to. And you know, I do gospel as well, but I I learned a lot also from other musicians who are also not just doing gospel, but let me say, worldly songs or any kind of. Songs, I, I, I learned a lot from them because you know there is something there is um, you cannot just learn from a gospel musician you cannot just learn from the good that's no what I you know when I look up on somebody like Sarah or when I look up on you know, old musicians like Ampoli you know Amanda you know all, all those kind of people I looked at a lot of uh, I looked a lot of up to them because they have done uh, they are legends in the world, and I respect them as well and my dad is one of them, my dad is called Miki Kabobo. And I think <laughs> a lot of people might know him to be the, the guy who brought Ga um, rap to Ghana. So he brought rap to Ghana. I was a, I was a chaplain at school as well. So I love singing, making it. It's all, almost all about gospel music, gospel music, gospel music. And when I came to find out about my parents as well, and I, I was so strong inside. You know, my dad was not actually doing gospel. He was doing gospel alright, but he had also songs that was not gospel, that were not gospel at all. He had rap songs, I mean songs about ladies, about women, about but the songs were also his songs were always making sense, you know. He, he, his songs was like, you know, in the olden days they have songs, they call it the foot you know, they have songs which are not just like any songs, you know. They they I mean they advise me. Those were the kind of songs that I was doing. And yeah, um, so I laughed. I saw it as well. I saw a whole lot of another, um, I mean, different kind of music background. But I just love to be gospel, you know. Because I have siblings who doesn't do gospel as well. But who are musicians, you know. Who does music but don't do gospel. But, you know, it's all music and I just love it. But gospel was something that I was never forced into. I really love it. Of my father, okay, he has a gospel song which is uh, which people know. Okay. People know. I don't even know if it's a gospel song or not, okay. but, <laughs> but I say I think it's a gospel. Let me let me try to sing it. It says that <laughs> he's already playing. When you the Sunday, what if you're away and can't be there? When you're near, you know my dad is fancy so. Sounds a lot of fancy. Nipa da seni, what if you are very kind of dead? On your meal, it's a junior son. Ten, 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 the song, man. Oh, you want me to still? I mean, I think <laughs> the song is, is fine, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you said you have this links. Yeah. How many links do you have? Um, I have. I mean, when I call people, when I say this is my, these are my siblings. I have. Let me see. I lost because of my stepdad, because of my um, my my real dad's kids. You know, I have a whole lot of siblings. I have stepsisters who, who I don't even feel like they are my stepsisters anymore because of the way the family is. So the I just feel like they are my real sisters, you know. I have stepbrothers as well, and uh, 
So I have a lot of siblings. I can say a number. <laughs> but I have a lot of siblings. Let me say just from uh, my mom and my stepdad's part. We are all we are all around I don't know, we are I think we are around 15. 12 to 15, you know. And um, but my my real uh, my mom my mom's kids, kids they, that came from my mom, sorry, being it from my real dad or my stepdad, we are all five in number. Because my mom had, um, with my real dad, with uh, Kiki Kabobo, we had, um, they had three kids, and I was the last one. So I have a big brother, a sister comes, and I come. So we, we were three from there, we have two siblings more from my mom, from my stepdad, who also comes after me. So I have two brothers also coming after me. So we are like four boys and one girl from my mom's side. And I also have a sister who is called, um, I think a lot of people know her too in German. She's called Becky. She dances and everything. Um, uh, people, people know you, uh, know her a lot, sorry. And she's my stepsister. But people don't see that she's my stepsister step because we are like, you know. And yeah, so apart from her, too, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of different ones who are also like that close with me. And uh, so I have said this. <laughs> My big brother sings and he does also rap, you know, just like my dad, but he raps more like Sarkozy, Sarkozy kind of rap and he raps very well. He does also, he raps beauty in gospel, beauty in um, Afro beats, beauty in, I mean, any word he's just, he's just a rapper and I love, I love what he's doing and he's doing it great as well. And he has also, he does studio, he does, I mean, he does music.